Hi, this is Tom with Laying the Math. In this video, we're going to explore fractions, decimals, and percentages, three of the most feared words in the world of middle school math. What we're going to look at is how we can convert any one of those into any of the other two. So there's a total of six different combinations possible. We're going to break them all down in this video. So all that's coming up next in the land of math. All right, in this video, we're focusing on decimals, fractions, and percentages, and the relationship they have with each other. So these three are kind of all connected together. And one of the key things is our ability to be able to convert each of these into one of the others. So for example, making a decimal a fraction or a fraction a decimal. Fraction is a percent or a percent a fraction. Now, the ability to convert these is gonna come up a lot. So for example, if we're working with percentages, a lot of times we have to take fractions, convert them to decimals, and then to a percent. If we're working with equations, for example, we might be taking a percent like this 75% and rewriting it as a decimal 0.75. Or this 4% and rewriting it as a decimal, so it would be 0.04. So when we're working with percents, decimals, and fractions, there's two key concepts that we really need to kind of take a look at. Number one, Fractions are nothing more than division problems. So most of us are probably familiar with the fraction one half, and we probably even know that the decimal for it is 0.5. But the question is like, how? How do we end up with 0.5? That's because the fraction one half is really a division problem. It's one divided by two. And when we go to divide one by two, we know two can't go into one, so we add a decimal and a zero. Two goes into 10 five times, and there's no remainder. So we get 0.5. The other key concept is percents are based on the number 100. So percents are basically how many out of 100. So that will come up all the time. So for example, if we have decimals, a lot of times we'll multiply it by 100 to get 31%. Or if we have a percent, like say 72%, we end up dividing by 100. And that gives us 0.72. So the 100 is a key player in all this. For example, also, if you have, if we know that half the people like tacos, and I can't believe it's only one half, but let's say one half like tacos. What we know is the percent is based out of 100. So out of 100 people, how many would like tacos? So if there were 100 students, 50 of the 100 like tacos. It means 50 don't like tacos. If we set this up as a proportion, like one half equals something over 100, you can see we multiplied the two by 50 to get 100, so I multiply the top number, one by 50, and we get 50 that way. There's six key situations where we have to convert one to another. So here's our first of the six. Converting decimals to percentages. And on this one, it's fairly easy. So when you look at our decimals, 0 0.5, 0 0.25, 0 0.07, 1 1.2, all we have to do to make a decimal percent is just multiply it by 100. So 0 0.50 becomes 50%, 0 0.25 becomes 25%, 0 0.07 becomes 7%, and 1.2 becomes 120%. So next we're making percents into decimals. We just kind of do the opposite. We're just going to divide each of our percents by 100. So 65% becomes 0 0.65, 7% is 0 0.07, 12.5% is 0.125, and 220% is 2.2. So we have a couple here where we're going to actually show you doing the work. So the 65%, we would divide it by 100. And so we know 100 doesn't go into 6 or 65, so we have to add a 0 in the decimal. 100 will go into 650 six times, and then we subtract. We have a remainder of 50, add a 0, and then 100 will go into 500 five times. So that gets us our 0.65. So 65% equals 0.65. If we look at the one where it was 7%, we would take 7 divided by 100. 7 doesn't, or 100 doesn't go into 7. It doesn't go into 70. It does go into 700 seven times. So you can see where we put the 7 here. It's 0 0.07. So 7% equals 0 0.07. Now, a key thing to kind of notice here, this is kind of a little way to make your life easier. Anytime you're multiplying by 100, the decimal just moves over two times to the right. So you can see that 0.31 where the decimal ends at the end. 
Same with the point two five is behind the five. Same with the two the point zero two. And with the point three seven five is thirty seven point five percent. And one point seven one becomes one hundred seventy one percent. If you're dividing by a hundred, the decimal is actually going to move two times the other direction. So we start at the end, or if there's a decimal in the problem, like our fourth example here. So we just move the decimal twice, and you see how we get back to 0.31. You see how this becomes 0.25. Our 2%, we have to move it twice, so we have to add a 0, so it becomes 0 0.02. The 37.5%, we move it twice, so it's now 0.375. And the last one, 171%, it just moves twice, 1.75. Situation is making a fraction into a decimal. Now we talked about this example earlier, the fraction one half. And so we know it's one divided by two. We know two cannot go into one, so it's zero. We add a decimal and a zero, bring that decimal straight up. Two will go into 10 five times. There's no remainder, so we're done. So one half equals 0.5. So here's a few more examples. So let's say you have the fraction three fourths. The 3 goes on the inside, the 4 is your divisor, 4 does not go into 3 evenly, so we put a 0 and add a decimal. Um, the 4 will go into 30 7 times, and that's 28, so we subtract, we get a remainder of 2, we bring a 0 down, and then 4 goes into 25 times. So 3 fourths, so 3 fourths would equal 0.75. So here are a couple others. So 4 fifths is basically 4 divided by 5. And again, 5 doesn't go into 4. We start adding the decimal and zeros, and you can see that 5 would go into 40 8 times. So it would be 0.8. So 4 fifths equals 0.8. Here's one where it's improper. So the 13 goes on the inside, 10 on the outside. 10 doesn't go in 1, but it does go into 13 once. We have a remainder of 3, so now we add our decimal. We add a 0 and bring it down. 10 goes into 30 three times. And so we know the improper fraction 13 tenths equals 1.3. Make decimals into fractions. Now, a lot of people really struggle with this, but it's really not that bad. So if you have 0.7, if you can read it correctly and you know this says 7 tenths, well, you could just write it as 7 over 10, 7 tenths. But let's say you don't know that. Let's say you get 0.21. So here's what I do. Take the number to the right of the decimal, put it in the numerator spot, put a 1 down in the divisor, and count how many numbers are to the right of the decimal, in this case 2, so I'm going to add two zeros. So here's another one. So the point zero 0.03, I put that on top, put my 1 down in the denominator, there's two numbers to the right of the decimal, I add two zeros. So in this example, I put the 131 on top, I bring the 1 down the bottom, and because I have three numbers to the right, I add three zeros. Next, we're going to look at taking fractions and writing them as percentages. Now, this is really three steps because we're taking the fraction to a decimal and then a decimal to a percent. So the fraction 3 fourths is 3 divided by 4, which is going to equal 0.75. I then have, I take that 0.75 and multiply it by 100, and I get 75%. So 3 fourths is 75%. Same thing with the 7 eighths. 7 divided by 8. And when I take the 7 divided by 8, I'm going to end up getting 0.875. To make it a percent, I'm going to move it two times to the right or multiply it by 100. And when I do that, I get 87.5%. Okay. Here's a mixed number we're turning into a percent. So I'm just going to focus on the fraction, the 1 half, which we already have done earlier. We know it's 0.5. And 0.5 times 100 is 50%. So we're just going to add that to the 2 because we know we got the whole number 2 and we have the 0 0.5 from, from the fraction 1 half. So if I multiply that by 100, I end up with 250%. So our next one, taking a percent, writing it as a fraction. So again, this is kind of a three-step process because we make our percent a decimal and then we're going to write it as a fraction. So 21% would be... 21 divided by 100, which would be 0.21. So when I go to make that a fraction, I put the 2, 1 on top. 
I put a one in the denominator. There's two numbers to the right of the decimal, so I'm gonna add two zeros. So it'd be the fraction 21 hundredths. So if it's 2%, again, I'm gonna take two divided by 100. When I take two divided by 100, I'm gonna get 0 0.02. I'm gonna put the two on top, put the one in the denominator. I have two numbers to the right of the decimal again, so I'm gonna add two zeros. Next one, 313%. I'm going to take that 313 divided by 100. I'm going to end up with 3.13. So my whole number is 3. I put 13 on top and I put 1 on the bottom. I had two zeros. So I end up with 3 and 13 hundredths. Well, hopefully this was helpful. Give it a thumbs up if it did. We'd love it if you would subscribe. Until next time, we'll see you on the land of math.